Hello and welcome to St. Mary's Now, a partnership between the Enterprise Newspaper and the Forest Center TV Video Production Program. I'm Raymond Graham. And I'm James King. And here's the latest news from the Enterprise. The St. Mary's Commissioners have voted 18 of the 22 legislative proposals last Tuesday. Within these approved legislation proposals, the Commissioners have voted to decouple the St. Mary's County Metropolitan Commissioners debt from the St. Mary's Commissioners County debt, increase public accommodations tax from 5 to 7 percent, and grant nearly $800,000 for renovations at the St. Mary's Health Department. These proposals will soon be forwarded to the county's legislative delegation for consideration during next spring's General Assembly session. Jackson O'Mara, a former Great Mill student and the chapter president of the March for Our Lives Foundation, is working with Marylanders to prevent gun violence by protesting for a stronger safe gun storage law. Jackson O'Mara proposes that the law should be updated to penalize parents who don't lock their firearms from kids. Due to heavy rains reducing salinity in portions of the bay, the Maryland Department of Natural Resources has issued new limits regarding the 2019 to 2020 oyster harvesting season. After October 1st, there will be no commercial harvesting on Wednesday, while recreational harvest will be limited to Tuesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays. Additionally, afternoon harvesting is soon to be banned. With an 8 to 10 year time frame set as our goal, it is important that we begin implementation as soon as possible, says Natural Resources Secretary Jeannie Hadaway. The result will be real long-term solutions for the resource. Cocaine is making a grave comeback as it is increasingly playing a role in the opioid epidemic. Data shows that cocaine-related deaths have skyrocketed annually since 2015, with nearly half of those occurring in Baltimore. Across Maryland, cocaine was involved in 186 deaths in the first quarter of 2019. Even in the midst of a sweep, which often illustrates a lopsided affair, neither players or coaches viewed the Leonardtown High School volleyball team's three-set victory over visiting Great Mills on Thursday afternoon as anything but genuinely contentious. Leonardtown won the Southern Maryland Athletic Conference Chesapeake Division match 25-15, 25-20, 25-20 to remain undefeated on the season and hand Great Mills its second straight setback after opening the season with a five-set win at Patuxent. St. Mary's Riken controlled possessions through much of the first half of their 1-0 game. Knights attackers kept Leonardtown goalie Haley Stack busy. Stack played exemplary in the box, kicking away numerous quality shots from Gina Jaffers, Molly Guy, Tatum Shipman, and Abigail Simmons. Eventually, Leonardtown gave way under the steady pressure and Simmons tallied the lone goal of the evening, midway through their first half. This news brief has been provided by The Enterprise. For more details, visit somdnews.com. That's what we have for you on this edition of St. Mary's Now. I'm Raymond Graham. And I'm James King. Signing, signing off. off.